Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We finally have grindable menu content thanks to the big SBCs that EA dropped yesterday on FIFA Ultimate Team. We're going to talk about that today, and of course, this week's Market Outlook video, what's going to happen this week on foot. Probably, probably not many of these videos left, boys, so relish them. And enjoy them while you can, all right? They're going to be FIFA 21 market, market Outlook videos very, very soon. But first things first, right? We have to talk about what is going on in this game. The content on the menus just went from 0 to 100 real quick this weekend with new cards added back in packs. And four, yes, you heard that correctly, four different upgrade packs are available in foot right now. That is just four regular upgrade packs, 81 double pluses, 80 plus player picks, 82 to 88 upgrades, and the 83 double as well. I'm going to put out a video uh, tomorrow talking about some of these and some of the packs that we opened. These packs, the 83 doubles, they're very good. They're very, very good packs. And there is a way that you can craft some of these SBCs, which I'll talk about at some point in this video as well. And then, of course, the Icon Moments upgrade came out today too. So this is an any Icon Moments pack that was released requires only an 85 and an 86 rated squad it was a lot cheaper than i was expecting but that is a huge w thank you ea sports for that so boom just like that we go from a two-week portion of the preseason promo that honestly seemed like an l and now we are here menu content is grindable once again i've got 1.14 million coins i'm fully liquid right now i got 1.1 1.2 million coins couple cards in the club actually um that i have to basically full send for the next 25 days now i could go through those coins very quickly but i want to talk to you about how you might be able to craft some sbcs uh you know in a very smart way with your coins, using your coins the smartest way possible and being, uh, you know, thrifty with it, I guess you could say. And then, of course, talk about what else is coming this week. So let's talk about what's coming this week, right? This morning, we have some moves this morning, some stuff we have to kind of talk about. Monday morning in the world of football, the PFA Bristol Street Motors Fans Player of the Month Award. All right. This is the Fans Player of the Month Award that is being announced this morning, 8 a.m. UK time. So shortly after this video goes live, this vote is going to be announced. But this is not the actual PFA award. This is the PFA Fans Player of the Month Award. Some people were asking me, yo, is the De Bruyne SBC going to come out after this voting is finished? No, I don't think the De Bruyne SBC is actually going to be coming out. Everything that I keep seeing in front of me, Seems to me like there's not going to be an SBC. They don't want to make an SBC for a 99 rated De Bruyne or whatever the reason is. Or maybe they're still just waiting for the actual PFA awards to happen whenever that does happen. Because I don't know if they're still scheduled that. But these are not the actual PFA awards. It's PFA Fans Player of the Month Awards. So don't expect an SBC today. I guess if it did come, that'd be pretty crazy. Um, but again, th I think I talked about this in yesterday's video. The EA Sports FIFA tweet congratulating Kevin De Bruyne. On his Premier League Player of the Season award, uh, it says his Team of the Season card is available now in foot. Yeah, it's been available for three months, okay? EA, we get it. Maybe two months, but whatever. Um, so, the issue here is I don't actually know if we're getting a KDB SBC. If you're somebody who is holding out your high-rated fodder, I mean, what I would say to you is if you have the coins and you have the ability, what I would do is just go out and get the KDB off of the market or maybe you try to pack him. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of tough, right? I don't think his team of the year card is probably somewhere around a million. I know his tots card has dropped a decent amount. How much is his KDB, the team of the year? The 98 KDB is probably still around a mil maybe? Yeah, it must be still around a million coins. Wow. Okay. So the team of the season is the ones that's dropping. The team of the year is still kind of expensive because it's not in packs. Yo, man. All right. So he's actually 1.2 mil, 1.180. And the team of the season, I think, is like one one eight or one nine. It was one nine earlier today, under one nine. Yeah, it's still under there. So one point eight eight five. I know that's a lot of money, a lot of coins for a lot of people. Shoot, I can't even afford the guy right now. But um, if you're really expecting a team of the season or a ninety nine rated KDB player of the season or player of the year award to come out, I'm really feeling like now it's not actually going to come. Unfortunately. Uh, based off of the lack of SBCs not coming already and the actual PFA awards, the real PFA awards not actually happening right now and not actually being announced or even voted on because a lot of people thought that this vote over that I showed you 
was the actual PFA vote, but it's not. It's the um, fans player of the year vote. So the fans don't actually get to choose the legit PFA player of the year. That is something I just wanted to point out to you guys uh, in this video today and just so that you're aware, right? That's something a lot of people have been looking for. I thought it was going to come. I told you guys it was going to come, but now it's looking like that it's probably not going to come, unfortunately, but it is what it is. And uh, we kind of just have to move on. It, it's August, right? If you really wanted that KDB player of the year, uh, you know, you got to take your W's and your L's as you can, because literally we are less than 50 days away from FIFA 21. The beta is out in full swing. There's a lot of stuff on Twitter right now about the beta. You can go and check it out on there. Um, I'm not going to talk about that too much on here just because I don't want to get involved with potentially sharing information and talking about things that I should not talk about. Um, so if you want to see some of that stuff, Twitter is the best place to go. There's a lot of images and stuff going on over there about that. So uh, regarding content this week, though, continuing with kind of looking at that kind of stuff, I think this week we're just going to see more of the packs, right? For the next 25 days, most of the content that you're going to see inside of FIFA 20 is going to be either a summer showdown SBC, which we've already had one. We'll probably get one more for the either the final or maybe EA will drop another one today for the other semifinal game of Lyon and Bayern with another two-day window to complete that SBC because this game is going to get played on Tuesday um, at, uh, what is it, 3 p.m. or 8 p.m.? 8 p.m. your guys' time in the UK. I think it's uh, 3 p.m. my time. Then actually we have Europa League games that are still going on as well. Those are going to happen earlier in the week. Today, Inter Milan plays against Shakhtar. Winner goes to the final, and the final of the Europa League is played on Friday. Sevilla beat Manchester United today 2-1. to one. That Diego Carlos is going to get upgraded to a 92-rated card, and Diego Carlos' road to the final is actually going to be higher rated and have better stats than Diego Carlos's team of the season. Now, that's probably like a FIFA myth. Matt HD Gamer, get your FIFA myths out, man, because that's going to be uh, probably the first time that that's ever happened, right? I don't know if we have any other road to the finals that have surpassed a team of the season card ever. Um, of course, this year with the plus three boost that they gave them. I think this is the first one that's actually done that. Um, I think. Could be wrong on that, actually. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that's right, though. Anyways, the road to the final Diego Carlos is going to be a 92 after today's game. And also, we're still waiting on the Depay upgrade because Depay is going to go up to a 93 because uh, they did get past the big boys. They got past the big boys of um, of Manchester City. So he's going to go to a 93 rated card. That, should, that should upgrade should happen as very, very soon. Uh, that should happen. Uh, and then, again, we have more Champions League games that are coming Tuesday and Wednesday. So, literally, Monday this week, we have Inter Milan and Shakhtar in Europa League. Tuesday, we have Leipzig, Paris. Wednesday, we have Lyon, Bayern. Thursday, we have nothing. And then Friday, the Ligue 1. We have Marseille and St. Etienne, the Ligue 1. Uber Eats. The season is back underway. So, football, again, is like nonstop. I, I'm kind of starting to get a little bit worried for some of these teams that have players that have been playing since the Mar since the leagues came back in like what early june or may um they're not really getting a break um as we head into the new season the premier league season starts very soon as well september 12th i think is that date so this week is kind of like the last hurrah for the big big um tournaments with the europa league and the champions league with the champions league final being on sunday uh this upcoming week a week from yesterday so that's going to be pretty freaking hype man Champions League and Europa League is coming down to the wire. We'll, ha we'll have champions announced soon. But that's going to be the end of some of the content as a part of this preseason promo as well. No more Champions League showdowns. No more Road to the Final stuff. Hopefully then, we start to see the top transfer content. And now this promo is really starting to take shape. The top transfer pr content in terms of the fact that we haven't seen anything yet is really pointing towards that content coming later in the week later in the promo. So after this week, possibly next week, we'll see more of that top transfer content. Maybe on Friday of this week, um, we'll see some more of that, whether it's an objective, we'll see what they do with that. But I would expect that sort of content coming later on next week or at the end of this one um, because the Champions League stuff kind of ending. And then again, focusing on the new seasons starting up uh, next week with the league on. So again, talking about these upgrade packs, like there's actually stuff to do on the menus right now. I want to talk to you guys about how you can craft these very cheap. 
how you can do them efficiently and get a lot of packs done with a decent amount of grinding. All right, let's talk about it this way. I'm going to go to Footbin actually and show you how much some of these SBCs cost to craft straight out of pocket, right? The 81 double costs you 11 rare players. The 80 plus upgrade costs you 10 rare players. So very similar price cost, price cost, uh, or cost is what I should say here. 20,000 coins basically per 22K for the 81 plus. Rares right now are like 1.5 to 1.6K a piece. They might be down a little bit from squad battle rewards, um, but these are kind of expensive, right? 20K a pop. Some of these are pretty good. This is what I would tell you, right? Do one or two, try and see if it works out for you. If you got good pack luck or cracked pack luck, because I say this all the time, it seems like different accounts get better luck with different packs. So try a couple out of each, see if they do good for you. But this is the way that if you want to grind the menus, right? There's going to be multiple ways to grind this, but this is the one that I'm going to be working on is doing the 82 to 88 upgrade, buying the non-rares, these 5,000 coins to do this SBC. You've probably got a bunch of non-rares in your club anyway, 5,000 coins to do an 82 to 88 upgrade, right? So you can do 10 of them for 50 K. You could only do like two of these packs for 50 K. And then what you're going to do with those is let's say you do 10 82 to 88 upgrade packs. You just have now 10 cards that you can put into either this 83 double upgrade. And you're probably going to pack some cards that are maybe, you know, 83, 80, like 84, 85, maybe an 86. If you get lucky, the 84 and aboves, I want you to rinse into the icon moments upgrade, right? Because this requires 85 and 86 rated squads. So I want you to rinse your 84s and aboves into this. And I want you to rinse your 83s and 82s into the 83 double upgrade. That is the foolproof strategy, right? So you're going to have to do a lot of these 82 to 88s. I get that. It's going to take a lot of non-rares, but that's kind of the move. Honestly, that's really the move because you're like, yo, why would you rinse them into the 83 double upgrade? These are actually very, very good. I mean, I did the first five of these that I opened today on stream. It was team of the season team. We got five team of the season cards out of five of these packs. Four of the packs contain team of the seasons. One of them had a double blue, right? These are actually really good right now because most times you're getting a type of special card because a lot of the special cards are in packs, of course, and those are very grindable and very good. And then even if you get high rated pulls in this that you don't want for your team or Todd's cards, you're, you can go and craft another icon moments upgrade, right? Let's say you pack a team in the season 91 rated, chuck that into an 86 rated squad here or the 85 that has the Tots requirement. And then bang, you know, that's going to make that squad a lot easier for you with some of those 82 and 83 rated players that you might have from that 82 to 88 upgrade as well. So I know a lot of people don't like this upgrade pack because it limits your potential to pack 99 rated cards to pack, you know, even like a 95 Hyunmin Sun. If you were trying to pack him, you can't get him from this pack, but you're, be, you're going to be able to craft him from these 80 plus, 83 plus double upgrades. You'll get a chance at him there. And you'll be crafting these Icon Moments SBCs at the same time. Let's say you don't want to craft the 83 plus upgrades. You could go do Forsberg. You could do Bernat. Get those done. There's a lot of other players that, you know, people haven't completed. Some Summer Heat players that are inside of the Players tab as well. Firmino, Jovic, Mertens. I have three out of four Mertens squads done that I've had done since Team of the Season that I haven't finished. Right? Marcus Alonso, Diago Jota. Um, I wouldn't do Goretzka. His road to the finals higher rated. It's going to continue to be higher rated. Maybe Vidal. Uh, David Luiz, right? There's a lot of other summer heat cards that are still back here in the players tab. You know, I've done a lot of these SBCs. Maybe you want to do Lang still or Usman Dembele, Lucas Mora, Coutinho, Militao. There's a lot of cards back here. Look, man, Ribery, Allen, Modric. Like, look at these cards, bro. Paul Pugba is still in here if you haven't completed him. So there's a lot of SBCs that you can craft. And this is kind of the last 20 day stage of the game. This is what I talked about on stream as well. And I mentioned a little bit in this video already, but. This is the time of FIFA where you full send it, right? This is the full send time. Just grind the upgrade packs, grind the menus until you can't anymore. And if you're somebody who likes opening tradable packs and you're trying to fund a big pack pull, you can do League SBC method, right? As of right now, as far as I'm concerned, the Libertadores SBC, the Lib Sued method, right? These two SBCs right here is still very grindable, still very uh, cost efficient. And with all the tradable cards that are in packs, it's very doable. According to Footbin, these two SBCs, it costs you 90, it costs you 68,000 coins on the PlayStation to do the Sud America SBC, and it costs you 90K to do the Libertadores SBC. Right now, uh, you will be able to get, what are, the, what are the rewards from this SBC? The group rewards. You get a 90 rated card, a 90 rated Romero from the um, 
Sud America, and you get a 90 rated, who's the guy from this one? A 90 rated Rojas from the Libertadores. 90 rated cards right now on the market. Those two cards are untradeable. Their value are, is 50K. So basically 50,000 coins, you pay an extra 40K for all the packs that are inside of Sudamerica and you pay an extra 30K to get all the packs from Libertadores and boom, you're getting a lot of tradable packs. If you think about it in that way, um, you know, you're getting rare Electrum packs. Some of the silver packs are not the best, but you're getting the Electrum packs, mixed players, small prime. I think the better one's really the Libertadores or excuse me, the Sudamerica. Yeah, you're getting some better packs in here for sure. The small Electrum. So, you know, the silvers are selling too, man. And the silvers are selling. I know there's not a lot of silvers that have specials in packs, but this is still a way where you can grind packs very, very, very easily. Grind these over and over and get the SPC cards um, in your club. You can probably grind some of the other, some of the other league SPCs too. They might be a little bit expensive. Yeah, they're a little bit expensive right now. The Premier League SPC is like 280K. So I don't know if that's actually worth it. But the Libsuit method is probably looking pretty pretty good right now as well. Um, you know, you can even do like bronze pack method if you're trying to do it that way. The BPM, Libsuit, and then, you know, hit some upgrade packs after that. All I'm saying is there's stuff to do on the menus, right? There is stuff to do on the menus. In terms of the market and how this is going to affect cards prices, one thing that I'm honestly kind of interested to see is the stuff that is in packs. Like if you want to buy a Conte team of the year, yes, this card is like 1.3 million coins right now. Do I think that he continues to drop a little bit as he is still in packs for 25 days? Yeah, I think these cards probably just kind of trickle down, especially with the stuff that is going to be, we're probably going to get more of those 89 five player packs this week. That one actually hasn't been released yet. The 89 five players pack probably going to come out this week. 90 plus tots, 92 plus tots. All of those packs are probably going to come out this week. So um, that's going to maybe cause some of those other cards to drop a little bit on the market as people pack them and as people have to sell cards to go do those SBCs. So if there's a card that you really, really, really want to buy for your team, I would just honestly say find a day where we get a big time SBC that's repeatable uh, or maybe it's a repeatable, maybe it's not like an 89 five player pack. That one's going to be a big SBC where you might see a little bit of panic selling depending on the price. And especially during the week this week, I still think all of those team of the seasons, team of the years that are in packs, you're just going to kind of see them trickle downwards in price for the rest of the year. And again, I would just tell you, buy the card and play with the card if you wanna have fun with it, because it's August, right? I've been saying this for a while now, but now even more than ever, just buy the card, play with it, have fun with it, right? Enjoy your last little bit of time on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. This, this game is going away, right? It is August, but we at least have grindable content to take us to the end of the year, or at least close to the end of the year, Thank you to EA Sports for these upgrade packs. 20 days, 25 days remaining. That gives us something to do for the next while, right? We can come on a stream, come on a video, open some packs, and just have a little bit of fun and use some of those coins that we still have at the end of the year to do something. To do something, right? There's football on. I'm glad that EA is letting us have some sort of, you know, outlet to go, you know, have our football desire just quenched in this game mode finally. And not just have to sit here and wonder, what are we going to do inside of FIFA Ultimate Team? So, again, that's the market outlook for this week, boys. Grind the packs. We're going to be packs uh, multiple times per week with the Twitch channel, which is listed down below. Check that out if you're interested. I'm probably going to be posting some of those packs here on the YouTube channel as well, just because they're fun, right? It is fun to open packs at this time of the year when it's just a full send. And the year is basically over. So, again, if you enjoyed this video, that's the market outlook. Smash a thumbs up on it. Comment at Noel if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.